to healthy connection and intimacy. I'd like to review a few beliefs and even lies that are common for people to trip up on and that really can affect honesty, trustworthiness, and respectability. And before I do that, I'd like to bring to mind a childhood story. It's one of my favorites. And you can tell that I'm a full-time mom right now. Childhood stories are, that's part of my daily life right now. And one that's my favorite is the story of Pinocchio. You've all heard it. It was written in 1881 by Carlo Collodi, an Italian author. But the version that we're most common, familiar with is the 1940 Disney adaptation, Pinocchio. I find this a powerful story laden with lessons about relationships, about the power of lies, about the transformation of a wooden heart into a real one. It's also a fabulous story about redemption. You'll recall that Pinocchio was a wooden puppet that was carved out of pine wood. And in fact, the word Pinocchio means pine eyes. And he was carved out of pine wood by a humble clockmaker and carpenter named Geppetto, who wanted nothing more than for Pinocchio to become a real boy. But as the story unfolds, we go along these adventures with Pinocchio as he begins to get tripped up and tell lies. And as he tells lies, his structure changes. He changes. He becomes less real, less authentic, less whole. And he becomes more and more distanced from his creator, Geppetto and also from his conscience and those who loved him as friends. A similar thing happens to us when we buy into lies that have us living beneath ourselves or when we get caught up in the trap and puppet strings of pornography. Our structure changes. Our eyes and hearts become wooden and hardened. We don't see things clearly. And we too can become distanced from our creator and from those who love us and who could love us. Now, here's the best part of the story. Pinocchio eventually gets so wrapped up in these lies that he's on the verge of destruction. He's been swallowed up by the whale. He's at the bottom of the ocean. All of this is cascading and imploding on him rapidly. And when he's on the brink of utter despair, he recalls a promise that he made to a good woman by the name of the Blue Fairy. And I'm fascinated with her role in the story because she's the only female figure in this whole tale, as far as I could tell. And she promised Pinocchio that if he would prove himself brave, truthful, and unselfish, that she would help him become real and grant Geppetto's wish. He remembers this promise, and that promise becomes a motivational factor for him to start proving himself, pulling up his socks and starting to get step up to the plate and do what was necessary to meet that promise head on. But the Blue Fairy does an interesting thing that I think has a powerful lesson for women. The Blue Fairy does not rescue Pinocchio from his lies and poor choices. She doesn't save him from the whale or save him from the ocean because she knows, she has the wisdom and strength of character to know that it is up to Pinocchio to do that work, that only he can do that work. And then in the process of proving himself brave, truthful, and unselfish, that he develops the type of character necessary to become real, to become authentic. I wish that more of us as women could really integrate and learn that lesson on a very deep level, because I fear sometimes women, especially in the dating scene, can be too good for their own good sometimes, and desire with good intention 
to rescue someone or to help someone and save them from their own redeeming process of transforming and improving themselves and living up to promises or even covenants that they have made. We can certainly inspire, influence, invite, but we cannot